What's going on everyone? Welcome back to our channel where we discuss the latest news and trends in the trucking industry. Today, I'm gonna to be going over the results of a recent survey that was conducted by Freight Waves, which found that a significant number of owner operators are considering leaving the industry due to tough market conditions. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe in order to keep up with the world of trucking, and let's get into it. Did you hear the news? We finally signed our lease to our new terminal in Atlanta, Georgia. That's right, and we're finally getting the keys to our long-awaited terminal next month. And we'll be able to open our doors to the public on May 1st. Our 3,000 square foot terminal is ready, fully fenced, secured, and operational. So if you're a company driver, owner operator, lease operator, and want to inquire more about our positions, email me at sponsorship at ettransport.ca or click the link below and I'll reach out to you. Now, if you are interested in watching our seventh part series on how we opened up a trucking company in the US. Click this playlist over here and now back to that video. According to the survey, 35% of self-identified owner operators said that they would leave the industry if the market doesn't rebound by the end of 2023. Meanwhile, about 21% said that they were having trouble finding loads to haul, suggesting woes weren't primarily volume related, at least not yet. Many, including Uber Freight, have said they expect an incoming volume recession in 2023. Although of these owner operators, which was 120 in total, only 8% said they were considering signing on with a larger carrier. It shouldn't be surprising to everyone that so many are considering leaving the industry. The last year has seen a financially punishing blend of sky-high fuel, equipment, and insurance costs. And on top of all of that, spot market rates have quickly declined. The owner operators in this survey were also asked about their earnings differences between 2021 and 2022. The median owner operator saw revenue grow 7% from 224,000 to 240,000, but the rise in expenses far outweighed the revenue growth. On average, the owner operator's expenses grew by 23% in just a single year. Freightwaves also looked at the difference in the increase of expenses between the owner operators who said they were going to hang it up and those who were more hopeful. The group saying they were likely to on their way out of the industry, on average experienced a staggeringly high increase of 38.6% in operational costs which works out to roughly $150,000. On a positive note, the most common answer was, I have seen profit margins decrease, but my business is still sound, which 47% of the owner operators responded with. They were also asked what the current state of their business is on a scale of zero to 100, with zero being imminent bankruptcy and 100 being rapid business growth. The average number given was roughly 47, which leans negative, but is almost neutral. Other answers to the survey were 20% of people saying, I'm having trouble finding loads to haul, 14% saying they weren't having any trouble finding loads, and 10% saying that they have been relatively unaffected by the down market. When Freightwaves pulled apart all the data and looked at who was answering what, they found that the drop off in trucking demand over the last year has mainly been a detriment to small carriers. The reason they give for this is that smaller carriers tend to be less diversified and have less flexibility to weather problems profit margin cuts. Another reason given was that when market conditions are rough, larger carriers typically outbid smaller ones on lanes in order to keep trucks moving. Veterans in the industry who are well seasoned might be able to park their truck and weather the storm. However, rookie owner operators typically don't have that option as many of them are on the hook for new equipment. The Owner Operator Independent Drivers Association, or OOIDA for short, says that there are somewhere in the neighborhood of 350,000 to 400 400,000 owner operators in the US and Canada. Of those, about 150,000 are members of the OOIDA. And this association has said that given the data on their members, the average owner operator has been driving for more than 20 years. And this downturn will likely not force that driver out of the industry, at least not against their will. The OOIDA says that it's owner operators who are new to the industry that are most at risk, which is quite a few of them due to the giant boom over the last few years of drivers wanting to 
to take advantage of the high demand in climbing spot rates. The OOIDA even mentions how around the middle of 2020, they had more own authority members than lease on. The increase in drivers securing their own authority carried right up until March of 2022 until the spot market rates dropped off. Then own authority members dropped as well. The OOIDA also carried out a study of their own and found that overall operating costs per mile climbed from roughly $1.75 in 2020 to about $2.35 in 2022, which equates to more than a 30% increase in just two years. Andrew King, the research analyst at the OOIDA, said, quote, this downturn is definitely more severe than 2019, which was the last down cycle we had. And it was pretty bad, but if you look at some of the operating costs, it was pretty level, especially things like diesel costs. What makes this one so different is the extreme spike in costs, in tandem with the drop in rates. It's like a double whammy. As mentioned before, those who are most affected by this are the ones who bought a new tractor or made the switch to becoming owner operators during the market's boom, which caused them to take on expensive equipment and high overhead costs, assuming that guaranteed profit was on the other side of that investment. The harsh reality these drivers might have to face is that the spot rates might have just been over inflated and the days of high demand are behind us, and ultimately that the current market isn't profitable enough to sustain their business. One of the main reasons that switching into independent trucking is a high stakes game is because you put yourself at risk of not being able to make payments on expensive equipment and end up with negative equity on it. However, this recession is nothing new. In fact, there have been over a dozen recessions in the last 50 years alone. Each recession is unique in its own way, although one thing they all have in common is that small businesses are hit harder and faster than larger ones. Some drivers are determined to stay in the industry though. The longer you're in any industry, the less likely you are to leave it, and trucking is not an exception to that rule. For some owner operators, trucking is in the bloodline as well. Trucking is an essential part of the US economy, with over 3.5 million truck drivers moving goods across the country. The issues that seem to be plaguing these drivers most is skyrocketing fuel prices and increased maintenance costs. Thanks to the electronic logging device mandate, it has also made it much more difficult for owner operators to maximize their schedules in order to counteract the increase in costs. The larger carriers are also able to lower their prices in times like these, which makes it difficult for owner operators to compete. Additionally, larger carriers have more bargaining power when negotiating with shippers and brokers, which can make it challenging for owner operators to secure profitable loads. A few of the different options open to owner operators who are struggling at the moment is to look into lead boards and digital freight marketplaces to find loads and manage their schedule. These platforms can help connect owner operators with shippers and brokers and help find the most profitable loads. Another option is to form partnerships with other owner operators or small carriers. By working together, they can share resources and pool their loads, which can help them reduce costs and increase profits. Lastly, some owner operators are going over to the dark side and becoming brokers or dispatchers. This can be a good option for those who are struggling to turn a profit trucking, but still want to stay inside of the transportation industry. That being said, we'd love to hear what you think. Are you going to wait out the storm or start looking into new possible career lanes?